accept. My dad, for example, technology has passed him by. My dad is 76, and if I ever pull him up on his mistakes, he doesn't have it. I've been to South West London, a place called Wimbledon. Have you heard of it? Yeah, yeah that's right, I've got money. <laughs> and uh, I was doing a show in North London, about an hour and a half to get home. On my way back home, I had 14 one four missed telephone calls from my dad. So, of course, panic sets in. What's happened? So I pull over and I call him back. And it turned out he'd lost the remote control. <laughs> but if I pull him up at it, he's not happy. His response is, Stephen, Stephen, do not criticize. <laughs> Was it not I who taught you how to use a spoon? <laughs> I said, yes, Dad, but when you taught us, we fucking remembered. We didn't have to call you every two weeks. Where did you put this again? <laughs> and it turns out, guys, a spoon is for eating soup, not for hitting your children on the forehead. <laughs> I mean, not that my parents beat us. I mean, why bother when the emotional scarring is easier to hide? <laughs> <laughs>